Hi guys, Hello. how are you? I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome back to a brand new video. This specific video was filmed three times. This is our third attempt. <laughs> no word of a lie. The first attempt, the battery died. The second attempt, we just had no daylight. So it Lighting was Lighting was wrecked. a problem, innit? Problem. So this is our third attempt. So I hope you guys appreciate the effort. And without this long intro, let's get right in so for this video i am going to be asking adult questions that girls would feel embarrassed to ask the or husbands, worried or, or worried scared. or scared yeah, or all know. sorts of emotions to ask their husband so i'm going to go right in and we're going to go oh, in God, this will be interesting in it and we are basic, basically i'm asking well, us on instagram well to help us out we've got some Pumpkin, no, what's it? That's, Cinnamon spice cappuccino. Yeah, and this one is the purple one latte. Quality street. Quality flavored. street, yeah. So these are the new drinks that have. Oh, they give you a chocolate. New, yeah, they give me a little chocolate. This is the new festive drinks from Costa. We thought we would get it, do a little video, try the new drinks out, have a little. Have a little. Shall I try it first? No, you got lipstick on. Well, I want to try it. Yeah. yeah, but you can try when I open it like that. Such a grand dad, aren't you? Try like that. Ooh, you got cream. There you go. I've got cinnamon. I gotta try this first then. Bismillah. Why are you making me open it then? <gasps> it smells very cinnamon y. Cinnamon y? Cinnamon y? Cinnamon y? Cinnamon y. Cinnamon y. Oh, go off. Oh, I wanna try some. Mine needs a good stir though. It's a bit like harsh. You've got a stir bell. How's yours? Is that nice? Mmm. Mm. Yours is nice. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yours is actually decent. You and your cappuccinos. Mine needs a good stir. Do we have a stir or? Um. We usually have like random sugar, salt, pepper, little sachets in the car. We have all sorts because me and Adol, we eat in our car. We drink in our car. We do. All, we live in our car, basically. We're always on the go. How about you do this? No, 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 babe. No, that. no. Stir with this then. You can't. That's gonna melt. Mm, I wanna stir with that. No, they held that. Honey. Covid and stuff. I ain't doing that. Honey. Shall I just stir it with this? You just stir it with this. No, because they held it. Not with cost one thingy. I'm just gonna do it with this. Stuff. That's gonna melt. It's gonna melt paper in your thingy. You it, get. That's it. See. There you go, hon. I don't like it for me. This is quite love, you guys. I don't want to hold it The half is small, I had the half. I had the nut in there. <laughs> yeah, obviously, you're the best bit. Okay. <laughs> you right there? Yeah. <laughs> So I asked you guys on Instagram to send in your questions and you guys went in. So thank you for that. I am going to be intimidating Adol and asking him all sorts of questions. So these questions are not personally aimed at him, but it's from a guy's perspective and what guys would think of the situation, basically. <laughs> There's some bizarre questions. That's what I'm going to say. Question number one, does hair on a girl matter? Like body hair. <laughs> like what if she forgets to shave her legs? Girl, you're so hairy. Girl! <laughs> Um, I think a lot of guys would get put off with that, yeah. Do you reckon? Yeah. What if, bless her heart, she was ill and she forgot to like wax her legs or like shave her legs? Tough luck. You could be like, babes. <laughs> no, I think a lot of guys would be put off. It's just, a, it's just a thing, innit? You don't want a hairy woman. What, you want her off? Because men are known to have hair. Yeah, because beard, chest hair, this and that. But yeah. women are meant to be like hairless, innit? Hairless chickens. What, like softies? Hairless chickens. Softies? <laughs> So, um, but yeah, they get put off with that. But me, I, I don't mind. I've seen you, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, I four, I mean the arms, yeah. <laughs> four arms. Don't get any ideas. Okay, I might have forgotten. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> I might have forgotten to shave my legs one or two times. Oh, yeah, and the legs. You know? Forgot about those legs. Okay, so it might. I guess it depends on the person, hey? Yeah. But I think majority would be poor. What if a guy has fetish and he likes like his he likes his woman hairy then he likes it then isn't it that's <laughs> it <laughs> okay cool that's absolutely let's not go into the fetish syndromes yeah let's not that's that's a different genre altogether 
Does guys prefer a curvy woman or a slim <laughs> woman? But as they what say, do they reckon? don't like slim women because it looks like an iron board is flat. So, so I think an average in between. Like because, an average woman. Yeah, because then. Does she have to have like curves and the right? Oh location? yeah, the curves. You know the. the them things <laughs> um, and uh, average and you know, not so skinny not too curvy mm. so in, in between but then I suppose wouldn't you reckon that be like a personal preference as well because some guys yeah, do personal prefer preference. like um, some people don't mind skinny or yeah some people prefer girls skinny. who are like proper skinny you know yeah I'm personal preference but yeah and some people prefer girls who have like a bit but of I think uh, at this, this day and age a lot of guys would want in between yeah because uh, looks is a big thing right like this day and age yeah now. this day and age i suppose people go for like i know we're supposed to go for like you know personality, personality so. but let's be real in this day and age it's what's out here okay that's a good good one babe mm -hmm. good one does guys usually want a second wife or is it just a myth um i think that's a good question actually i think it's a myth one's a bloody headache One's enough. One's enough. One's enough. One's but enough. I'll be straight up. Like we, what too much sometimes. You're too much. To speak to you. Speak by yes. yourself, woman. <laughs> one's now what? I think one's enough. I think there's very minority percentage that want more than one wife. Yeah. But obviously in Islam, it, 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 there's a thing about it. But if you can afford to have two, treat them the same. If you if, buy one thing, one, firstly, you have to buy the other one. If your wife agrees. Yeah, obviously, firstly, your wife has to agree. Your first wife has to agree. Yeah. You if can't do it. If she, she says to the Lord, if she says no, you can't. She's like, hell no. She has to be willing to do it. Yeah. So then, yeah. But again, that's that's like, I don't think guys want one. Not know. really. It's it's quite One's full on. enough. One's, yeah. This is a personal question for you. Um, oh, we're getting personal now. We're getting, per we? we're getting personal. Has adult, like, did I... Sure, did Adol have a girlfriend or date anyone before you? Yeah. Everyone does. Yeah. To I mean, be honest, otherwise, how are you going to get to the place where you are now? So, excuse me, I burped. <laughs> how are you going to get to the place where you are now and not get to know the person and then, you know? Yeah, I mean, like, we're well, not encouraging it, of course, yeah. but I mean, how do you meet people otherwise? Yeah, no. You obviously. have to, like. As long as you know your limits and you don't do things that you're not meant to be doing, blah, blah, blah. Naughty thing. Naughty, naughty. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> uh, but yeah, those kind of things. But I think it's just okay, wait, natural nowadays. Can we just put sugar in? I think it just needs a bit of like sugar. Unless it's hot. It's a bit like clean. Yeah, that's, that's the sugar. Ew, I'm touching that crap. Not the whole... Not the whole thing! I usually have more. That. You didn't say that. shake it like that now. Just drink a bit more and then shake it. It will be alright. Oh Go on, give me the calories today. Yeah. See, it's nice, isn't it? Does belly fat on a woman put guys off? Yeah. No, but listen. No. Well, so, okay, some no, guys. Listen, wait, wait. Listen, some guys. No. Uh, some guys. I didn't finish your question. Yeah. What if <laughs> your beloved sweetheart of an angel had your baby in it? And oh, yeah, she that's got a normal, bit of a flab in it after that's, that. That's a bit of a normal, normal thing. So, so you won't get poor, actually, you know? I won't. But there might be guys who don't want their wife to be flabby. But then there's still going to be a little bit of flab. She but I find flabbylicious. I, I find flab a bit fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, was that supposed to be a joke? No, like, it wasn't meant to be a joke. I like flabbylicious. I like flabs sometimes a bit. Majority of the uh, men would be thinking in the head but would not say it. Because you, you can't talk about weight with a woman. No, you can't. It's very, very sensitive. To Pikino. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. right. And there might be some there's this there might be some horrible people who will be like, oh babe, you need to go gym and lose that fat. That's the Say it straight up, you know what I mean? If any of you guys out there, if but any then of you there's women out there who would like the partner to be straight up. Honest. Yeah, but not after she just had a kid and she's got a bit of a flab. You have, to, you, you have know. to give that woman some time to heal. You never know. There might be there might be women out there that'll be like, oh if, no, I want you to tell me if I need to do it and I'll do it. Yeah? Going in. Those are tough women. But, mm. Okay. Mm. Is it okay for your husband to have female followers, but he's not following them? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with some people following you, as long as you don't message other girls behind your wife's back and chit-chat and all that kind of stuff. And flirt. And stuff. 
Yeah. If you do need to chat to somebody, just obviously don't hide it from your partner. Mm. Vice versa, from it's the... about you, babes. All <laughs> it's right. <my> money. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I don't think yeah, there's nothing wrong in that. Yeah. yeah. Does body odor on a woman put a guy oh, off? Oh yeah, hundred and ten million fucking percent. She's a bit Excuse stanky. She's a bit stanky. Not gonna lie, I don't like stinky woman. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, no, stinky, no. No, no, no can do. Uh, no, but from your perspective, like from other guys. Oh uh, yeah, a lot of guys would be like, no, hell no. Were well, you gonna go flip in, go <laughs> link a girl, and then you, you, you like hug her, and then she hump is stinking like fish and shit. You'd be like, yo, I look at this girl again. <laughs> Bruv. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, you're not gonna be horrid. Be like, yo, babe, you stink in it. Go have a shower. Do you want a perfume for Christmas this year, darling? <laughs> yeah, that's a good for idea. So, <laughs> as a gift, give them like a aftershave. Yeah. Uh, an aftershave just for men. No, um, no. Shower gel. Yeah. And deodorant and a perfume. Three going one combo. Ooh. Yeah. Going out. Yeah, babe. Look what I got you. Are you gonna use it today? <laughs> yes. Oh, all the guys will be like, oh, who the fuck? Who uh, wants a smelly pot? I know. <laughs> I was going to say that from a girl's perspective as well. If a guy was stanky, no, honey, no can yeah. do. Nobody wants a smelly pot, no. It's natural cleanliness that everyone should be doing anyway. Okay, what's the guy's biggest turn off? Morning, 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 constant morning about everything. Oh, you didn't do this. Oh, you didn't do that. You didn't do this. You didn't do that. Oh, you didn't buy me this. Oh, you didn't buy me that. A moaning person is annoying for all guys, trust really? me. And that puts off, put guys off. Are we speaking to your boys about it? No. So. What boys? <laughs> <laughs> True. Looks or personality? Be genuine on it. I gen genuine. Okay, genuinely, yeah, this might sound cliche, but personality. Because, listen out, listen out, uh -huh, listen uh -huh. out, listen out. Looks can fade. People. <laughs> People grow old, looks can go, blah, blah, blah. Yes, there is still that 10, 20% of looks involved in yeah. meeting somebody. But I say personality because personality is you're going to spend the rest of your life with that person. If the person is dead and you just go you for looks, what are you going to do when the, when the looks go? You're going to go cheat on, some, on, on that person and go find somebody else that looks better. Well done, baby. Well oh, done. Prof. Um, Makeup or no makeup? Does... Does like the husbands prefer the woman to have no makeup? I think there's or that's 50 50. There's yeah. a lot of guys, there's some guys that would like their partner to like doll up and dress with inappropriate clothes and for the sake of like showing off, I showing off. Oh, look, I've got this girl mm. and my girl looks nice and this and that. And there's guys who actually prefer their partner without makeup. Well, I prefer you without makeup. Friends I tell you it all the time. Generally, I tell it all the time. You don't need to wear makeup. This filming video, I told her, don't bloody wear makeup. You don't like, need makeup. No. Sunday, oh, you don't need to no. wear makeup. Mm -hmm. But I guess it's just all these makeup industry have brainwashed all your women. That's why. But what if we go out on a date? Wouldn't you want on a day? Yes, but natural makeup. You know, you know, some people go over, overboard yeah, and like, like bare makeup. No drag shit. queen shit here. Like, like if you slap them, poof, will come out. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah. Okay. So okay. I think that's fifty-fifty. Mhm. Mm okay. Do you believe? Does men usually believe? At love at first sight. Do you guys believe uh, in love at first Do you I guys think, believe in love at first sight? I think a lot of men would not want to admit it, but they are the majority would wear the heart on the sleeves. Yeah. But some of them will put an act on to show that, oh, I'm cool. I'm too I'm, cool. I, I, oh, I'm man. not going to fall for you first. You fall for me. I'm too cool. I don't want to chase you. You chase me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think um, a lot of guys will wear heart on the sleeves. So you'd look at, like, when you looked at me, do you be like, She's, yeah, she's my future wife. I wear my heart and sleeve, I'll be honest. And then um, I, I looked at her, but like, yeah, sweet your wife. Sure she's, yeah. she's decent. I've always, I knew what I wanted and I saw that in you. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, you still got to get to know the person, but that attraction was straight. Okay, babes, you're blowing my trumpet now. <laughs> Comment down below on this video and let us know if you guys want to see a part two and if so, leave I'll, your questions down below. Yeah, I'll use some of your questions but I'll make up my own as well mm. from my side because then at least those questions you won't know what it is. Yeah, yours. true that, yeah? true that. Um, yeah, if you guys did uh, enjoy it, don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe and comment and all of that good stuff. I thought you were going to do that with me. Oh. Like, comment, subscribe. Okay, we should see you guys really, really soon.